Hi, this is Bonnie and I have a lawn fawn project that I want to work on today and I thought I'd kind of share with you with what I was going to be doing. This is the um, platform pop-up from Lawn Fawn and at one time um, uh, Dyes R Us had this in their store so I thought I'd go ahead and use it and um, they do not have it currently in their store but they always carry the newest releases when they come out so you should if you know that they're coming you should you know make sure you have the newsletter because you'll know right away when they have it in stock so at any rate um, I'm going to be using this today and these are the two main pieces that I'm going to be using in order to put the platform together there are a lot of pieces that come with this set and you can always look that up even on um, any any place online but the other one I'm going to be using from the set will probably be let's see oh here we go um, I'm going to be using the grass so those are the three pieces I've got cut out the other one the real reason I well I wanted to use those because I love using the platform but they came out with a new um, die this last time and this one is called secret garden and I've been really wanting to use this so that is one thing they also come this one also comes i've got them all pretty much taped down because i was die cutting them they also come with all these extra pieces so you need to check that out now here's the deal this right now and, and as of yesterday was sold out on the lawn fawn site but dizer still has this in stock so you might if you're looking for it you might want to check that out so those are the pieces definite pieces i'm going to be using for dies i'm also planning to add the um oops backwards and um, this one is the um oh so berry mice i'm going to be using these again and i really think these are adorable and i'm also going to be using the matching dye to cut them out once i color them so what i have done so far is i've also used a paper from fairy hugs um Fairy Hug Stamp, it is also in the Dyes R Us store, and this one's called Bumble Twinkle. And actually, all these papers are from Bumble Twinkle. So <clears throat> then I also cut out what you need whenever you go to um, make the platform. You need three, I call these T's, I think that's what they call them. And then I cut out the background die, that one, which doesn't really have to be the background. <clears throat> and I also cut this one out to go with it. So I have my window, and let's see, I cut out some pieces. I'm gonna be cutting out more, as I told you. This paper really works well from Fairy Hugs because it has a variation of colors in it, so you can use one paper and you and do a lot of different things with it. Um, you can see that right here, or here. Let me pull that down just a little bit for you so you can see it. Sorry about that. Um, these are some of the pieces I'm gonna be using. You can see the different variations of color that's just in that one paper, which is really cool. And then um, the grass too, um, I'm gonna be doing that. So I think I've got things majorly cut out. Oh, and I also have stamped my um, stamp so far. I haven't colored them. I will get that done. But let's move these out of the way a minute. That's just a sample so you can see some of the things I am going to be using when I get this all put together. So um, it's really fun to make this um, stamping platform. And they, are, they do a really good job on their site, their um, YouTube channel also. So there are, as you can see, score lines. Or maybe you can't, here, let me if I tip it. Yeah, you can see. So basically you just are going to be folding all those on the score lines, just like that. And they're identical these two pieces they're absolutely identical so everything I do with one you will be doing with the other one and you actually rotate this one around and you hold it this way to put it together but they also want you to there's just two well there's three of them you're only going to be using two um, to start and you're going to bend that forward and you're going to bend that forward and the thing you need to do to get this started is just to use some, um, you can just use regular tape. I'm gonna be using score tape, easy enough. And this is what kind of holds your platform together to make the pop-up, important part. Okay, 
And like I said, you're gonna need one for both for both pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I should have probably put that through first. Let me put that through first. And then I can take that tape off. So basically what they ask you to do is make sure that that's secure, just like that. Okay, and we just got that folded. And then you take your tape off. And then they want you to bend that forward, just like that, making sure that that's secure. Pretty darn easy. Oh, and then the other thing you're supposed to do is have some tape on there. I didn't follow the directions very good there. Actually, when you do this several times, it's quite easy. Easier than what you think. You'll look, oh, there's all this. It's going to do all this. It's really pretty easy. But I think it's because they give such good directions on their web, on not their website, but the probably website too, in their YouTube channel. Um, Lawn Fawn has a YouTube channel and it's really good. All right, so now I probably didn't even bend that. No, nope, I didn't. Okay, so that piece needed to be bent. So then all you're gonna do is, they always say just go up a step, but basically, oops. If I did that right, I think I did. Well, if I did it wrong, no, I didn't. There we go exactly how it goes just like that and basically you already have one half of your pop-up done that's how fast it goes so let's go ahead and do that again so <laughs> this time I'm gonna make sure I I bend that over bend that over bend that over and I'm doing that all the way from the all the folding okay so let me take this back around this way and I'm gonna go ahead and put that tape on there. It worked both ways. It's really pretty easy. Okay. There we go. We'll keep that like that. Now, like I said, you're gonna to wanna to, um, put this through that little tab and make sure that that's secure. You can see keep that and then we're just gonna fold that over on that seam there tuck that down but not yet <laughs> I gotta take the tape off there we go okay now we're set okay and then we're gonna take this one like I said they're identical and this I have electricity it keeps sticking to my fingers okay Bend that over and bring that up to the top. Okay, and we've got our second piece. So basically you make two pieces to make the platform. That's what you really are doing. So now to put these two together, well, we're not quite ready to do that yet, but I'm gonna go ahead, I, I can actually, it doesn't matter, the order in which you do this. Okay, so I'm going to put some more tape here. And this puts your two pieces together by putting these tab, this glue on the tabs. And then what you want to do is you want to line this up just like that so that you can see that they're butting right up against each other. And then you fold that flap over. And then you've got that piece. Now, Remember I told you about that third piece? Well, this piece, you don't need this little bit on the bottom, and it can even be a little bit shorter if you want it to be, but this helps you line it up. It's not gonna show anyway. So, that's gonna go right here. And you wanna make sure that it's lined up with that white. That is what is in front of it. Can't even talk sometimes. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the tape, but not all the way. Let me show you, it does not, you don't wanna put it on the cross up there. You just want it on the bottom part because you don't want that glued down. And there's a reason for that and you'll see it. It's kind of easy to understand. It's basically your center piece where you can um, put anything on it. It just is your piece that you can attach things to. All right, so like I said, you kind of see that little, how that's gonna be, you don't wanna go any lower than that, and you wanna line that up. 
And if you find that it hangs a little bit below, you can always cut it off, but quite frankly, it's never really going to show. Not really. All right, so now the deal is we want to make this one piece, right? So on this side, we could really do it on this side too. It doesn't really matter. Just I think this is just how they show you. It doesn't matter which side you put it on. The tape. And you also want to put it on the last flap. And you can see right now it's it's taken me about 10 minutes just to put this together a little bit more. It'll probably take me about 12. Um, and you can do it a little bit faster when you're not doing it. Um, and when you're not doing it as a video. All right, so now the next part is you're gonna fold this in half right on that seam. I'm gonna pull that flap back out. I'm gonna line that up and see if I wasn't being funny there. I could get that lined up better. <laughs> All right, so line that up. Okay, and then we're gonna take the tape off of this one. If I get it right. I think we are. There's one and there's two. All right, and line that up. And now you actually have your pop-up. Now let me show you. That's your pop-up. It's really cool, isn't it? It's very, very smart. And you push that back down, and it goes like, I always think that looks like a diaper. I don't know why, but it just does to me. But then, like I said, just pop it up, and you can put whatever scene on there that you want to. And that's why those little T things here up at the top, you can attach anything to those. So one of the things that I did is I cut out I cut out these um, the grass, and then I could put anything that I want to in front or behind it. And in order to do that, I actually, I don't use the tape for that, I just use the glue. And so um, I just run a little piece of, or a little bit, not piece, a little bit of glue along the back of that. And actually, I do it on all three. I don't know if you can see that. But I'll put that down there and show you. Oops, be nice if I put it on there right. Sometimes I think it might be smarter to actually add, well, I don't think you can. I think you have to wait, but that works. See, got the grass in there, and I'll do the other two because I know this is what I'm going to do for the entire scene. It's all right. I if I can tip this so you can see it better for me to do it. There we go. I think you can. And you want to just make sure you line that up with it because it is the exact same length as that T-top. Okay? And we've got one more. All right. Whoops. It's easier sometimes just to hold it in front of me. All right, so now we've got our grass. Okay, you see the grass in there? I'm popping that up a little bit so you can see it better. And you can put anything you want coming out of that. So I thought, why not try and do this um, secret garden window? I thought that would be really, really cool. So what I did was like I showed you, I, I cut that back piece out of this, and then I cut this um, out of the purple. I had a purple. And basically what you do to do that is you use these two pieces and you just put these two pieces together and you cut that out. And that's what you get. So I went ahead and put double-sided um, foam tape, but I did it twice. I doubled up on the double-sided foam tape so it'd be a little bit higher. And I am going to be putting that as my... Um, background because you can also buy um, there's like little um, backdrops you can buy for this for the background if you want to and I think that's really cool but I thought this would work okay um, it makes it a little bit taller probably I never did measure it against the other to be honest with you but I know this will work because it's the right width and plus the best lots of times they'll put the bigger pieces in the center instead of in the very back 
but let's see what we can do. I want to make sure I get this on, so I need to kind of put it in front of me. Okay. I think that's going to work. Oops, my finger stuck. All right. So then what I want to do is I want to put that back here. And I think I can without messing anything up. If you can see, I'm going to put that back there. So it's going to come up a little bit higher, but it's going to work. So I'm going to come back here to the grass. Although I'm wondering if I should put the double-sided tape on that to really hold it well. I might do that. Let's do the double-sided tape. Just because I feel like that will be make it kind of secure. So I'm undoing this and making it do it a different way of folding it to put this on the back. I think that will work for me. Make sure I don't bend up my grass too badly. All right. Now, right now, it's not gonna seem like it's a big deal because there's plenty of space, but when it comes back up, it's gonna act funny. So I'm gonna go like this to make sure that I'm not up too high because I think that's gonna work. Let's, I'm going to just hold it up one second just to make sure I'm double checking that I can do that. I can. I think it can go down a little bit further. Okay. All right. It can go down a little bit further, so we're all right. I'll make sure that's in the center. And that's kind of, there we go. I have a shadow, and the shadow is kind of messing me up, but I think that's in the center. All right, I'm gonna get that to go back down, and that's gonna work. I probably could have even gone down further, and it would have been all right. But that's how that looks. So then I wanna put my pieces inside of it, but I do think I'm gonna to try to make that go down a little bit further. So I'm gonna do that first, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's now after I've got these all colored, I have um, some snipping I want to do, and um, one of those, um, they I wanted you to see how cute these are. They're just such um, a sweet drawn mouse. But anyway, what I want to do right here is I want to cut in between this hand on that little line right there. Let me see if you can see how I did that. And just cut that little line right there. And the reason for that is I want this one to also hold onto that just a little bit. So that's the plan for that one. And then for this one, actually I should just probably get out my glue too, because I could probably put glue these kind of together. For this one, if you remember, I also stamped the word I love you. I think that's really, that comes with the set. And I want, um, I want it to look like this little guy is over the side like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on his arm just so that I can attach it in the place that I want. Of course, my glue wants to be clogged up, so we'll just fix that. I should have tested that a bit. There we go, that should work. And again, let's see. I can see that I'm gonna need some more glue too. I'm running out. There we go, I just needed a little tab right there. A little dab, not a tab. And I'm gonna have this one go up because I know how I wanna have it. I think that's right. Yeah, because I want the word to go up a little bit. Maybe not that much. Okay. And I just colored in that heart with the Prismacolor pencils. That's how I colored all of these is with Prismacolor pencils. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one on. Just put a little dab of glue right there on the back hand. Just a tiny bit, just so that I can keep them together when I go to put them on the, when I put them on the project. I think that works. All right, now this guy. I, if you've noticed, I mean, this does look like, um, so far like I'm being doing the sewing, 
um, theme, but I'm really not going to, I'm going to, um, technically, I'm planning to cover this up. And that means I've got this little thimble on the top of his head. Super cute um, if I'm doing the sewing theme. But I decided that I'm just going to put this bow up here. Now, in order, to, in order to do that, I really don't want that little bump at the top. So all I'm going to do is just snip that away. Just like that. And it doesn't really mess anything up because like I said, I'm gonna put that bow up there. Just like that. So you can actually snip, you know, depending on what you're gonna do, if you're gonna cover it up. I'll put a little dab of glue right there. To hold that bow. And I did cut out two bows. I'm gonna cover that up a little bit so it, that's really cute look you can do that you know change that out and um, the plan is for him to or her to um, be right up there at the top of that to make a little scene and then I have one more bow and I think I'm gonna put that one on this one so I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue on this bow I just wanted you to see how you could change these out and they didn't have to be um, the sewing because even the words that were in that um, set there's a lot of sewing sentiments but I just used the one um, that says I love you and there's one that just says thanks so um, you can say um, thanks so much you can do all that which is really cool but you could also make them so they're not sewing if you want to so those are the two things I'm planning to put this on there too. Um, that I'm planning to put on this project. So I'm gonna get those all set up and then figure out how I'm gonna decorate the rest. But I think that's gonna work. I think that looks really cute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that together um, and I'll show you how that looks. Okay, so I have these ready to put on. I um, went ahead and put some um, double-sided foam tape on the back of these um, because I wanted them to be a little bit more raised. It's not gonna be that much raised because I just did, um, if you remember, two layers to put the um, secret garden die on. So this is still gonna be behind that because it's just one layer of um, foam tape. So you can see how that looks in the back, how I you know, made that little cut so you can see his hand is on the other side. So, I wanted you to see this as best you can. Um, I, want, I don't want to push this all the way down. I want this to be a little bit more centered in there. So it's going to go about like there. I want him to be behind that. It's hard to see sometimes when I have the camera in front of me. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so that's how that's going to go. And then I just put one little um, foam tape behind this guy, girl. And I want to make sure that I've got it so that it's not covering up, but yet you can still see it. And it's close enough in the front that it's not an issue. All right, so that's the basic setup of what I want to do for this card. Now the rest of it's going to be kind of like embellishing, and I'm just going to... Um, start putting stuff on here. But I think before I do that, I realize um, there's two um, dies in this stamping um, or this platform. Um, one happens to be a bow and the other one happens to be some larger flowers. So I'm gonna probably cut some of those out too and then put those on. So I'm gonna get some things arranged and I'll show you how that's gonna look. Okay, so now it's for um, a little bit of time of embellishing. And what I did is I did cut out these flowers and I also saved the center, but I'm not gonna use the center for the flowers and I'll show you what I am gonna do. So um, I just cut out four. You could probably cut out more depending on what you want, how you wanna decorate. You gotta get enough glue on there. And so all I'm gonna do is, basically I'm just gonna put that, I think I'm gonna have that raise up a little bit. Yep, because it's not going to cover up the sentiment up above, but it'll give it a little bit more character. And I'm going to keep them 
so that they are the same in terms of the petals going, how the petals are going straight across. I mean, they could go in different directions, as you could see. So anyway, so two in the front, and then I'm going to put one on each side. Not really too tough. Try to match those up as best I can. And then, I mean, actually, they really don't need a center. I think they're really quite cute. And actually, the stitching in them really does go well if you were going to go with the... Um, If you plan to go with a sewing theme, I think the stitching on them, this one turned a little, bumped it. Okay, so then um, the stitching goes really good with the theme, I think, if you were going to do the stitching theme. So I'm taking the flowers that came with the Secret Garden, and I'm just going to put um, those in the center of these flowers instead of the circle, because I cut them from the same paper, and I do want to have a different color in there which means I really have to coordinate, add more of this pink, which I'm going to do. I'm gonna still use the center for the flowers as well, just for decorations. And I also cut out the bow from the platform. And I'm gonna be using that as well. So one more. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the the intended centers for the flowers. All right, let's turn that one a little bit. If I do one the same, I gotta do them all. If I do most of them, can't have one eyeball there. All right, so now there are um, these little centers to the flowers, and I just decided I am gonna put those in between just because it, I'd be throwing them away otherwise and I'm just gonna put that one to the side because I'm not gonna really put that right there in, in the crease which means I end up with one extra one because there was four but that's okay and I think that looks okay going across. So now for the bow. I'm going to show you the, the three pieces. Um, I think the, yeah, these two pieces came as cut out as one. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to um, use my finger to make that curved a little bit. It's going to come back down in the center, but these end pieces will be up. You can see how I did that. Right. So, and that's just going to glue on to the center of that ribbon, the ribbon tails. And then this is the center. It does not wrap around, it just sets in the center. And again, this is stitched. So, again, it would it'd go really good with the sewing. Whoops with a sewing theme if you wanted to do it with them. All right, need to pull that back up a little bit. I think what I'm gonna to do to make that stay up, to be, make it pop, I'm gonna add some foam tape back there to keep that up. I'm gonna to have to cut another piece. And that'll keep that up. Whoops. That'll keep that curved up a little bit better. I could have put two pieces, I didn't. Just depends on how high you want that to be. I need another piece cut anyway because I'm going to attach this. So, just put this on this side. You can actually take the tape off and pop that underneath. Okay. So now it's kind of raised up just a little bit. And then I cut that other piece and I'm going to put that behind. And that's going to go up here at the top. Now I could make it totally centered or I could do it to the side, but because I've already got this to the side, I'm going to go to the center. 
and I don't think that's gonna be too heavy to make it. Nope, it's gonna be fine. So that's how that's gonna go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna randomly start putting these on in places and I'm gonna do that off screen and I'll be right back to show you how I did that. Just because it's kind of, they're small and my fingers will be in the way. Okay, so I have this completed now. I was gonna go ahead and show you um, some of the places I put things like, I put the little, I'll show you the die. There, it's kind of like a dandelion in a way. I put the dandelion on the side in the second row, middle row, and I added the hearts, the extra hearts, because there was only two heart flowers that I could see in the, um, the secret window, secret garden window. And let's see what else did I do. So I added those. I added the hearts, like I said, to the hearts in the secret window. I added the, I'll show you what those look like. I added those to all of the heart, or all of the flowers that were in the secret window and I added gems. Now, um, I, the intention probably was to put these in the center of those in the window, but I just put gems because I put them on here. Um, let's see what else did I do. Yes, I added one of the, um, I really like these, they're really cool. I added one of these leaf foliage right here and I added the um, pinky one right there. And um, I'm trying to think of what else. Yes, um, I added the buttons that actually came in the center of those flowers to the center of the flowers that were for this one right here. I could have put gems on those too. I guess I might even do that when I get done. So um, that's the finished looking card. I mean, it's kind of hard to really see it. You can see the tape up there, but it's really hard to see this without me taking a picture. Um, just to show you how this works, it pushes down. I always call this so it looks like a diaper. So it pushes down and you can see how big this is gonna have to be. It's a little bit taller. If it was shorter, obviously it would fit in the card better, but um, that's kind of like how it looks. And then you just, what's really fun is the reveal when you pop it up and that's kind of cute, super cute. So one other thing I wanted to show you, this was the cutout from the inside of the, um, I don't know what I just did with that, I was gonna show you. But it's the inside of the secret garden with all the foliage on it. You could see all of that was the foliage. And I had enough in the center to cut out um, four of the flowers. So I, I used up all of my scrap on this. I probably have enough to still cut these out if I wanted to. So save your scraps. Because if you're not going to, you know, you can go ahead and cut, you know, other pieces to put in your, your pictures. The other thing, this too, um, I cut that from a scrap from when I cut out the um, platform because there's always pieces along the side. So I saved that so it would all match. So that's the end result. I will have the information below. And I just wanted to remind you that um, uh, Dyes Are Us um, carries um, Lawn Fawn. And right now, um, today, which is um, April or May 4th, um, 2023, there is a 10% off until midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight um, to get whatever's left in the store. And the secret garden is in there if you're wanting that. So thanks so much for stopping by. And like I said, I'll have the information in the description below.